So it is April 16th, 2022, 11.02 a.m. Making moi hit or miss. Soy milk cafe latte. I think of the show Breaking Bad whenever I'm in the kitchen working here. With these things, these antidotes that I come up with for myself that work for moi or that have a bit of a, um, extra sensory perception, but not, not in the, um, super sensitive sense of that territory, which I've experienced before. And it's not, it's not, um, something that is, uh, where you want to be for too long. <laughs> It's like uh, something you want to end. It would be something that you would want to go away after experiencing it for several days, weeks, months. <laughs> Luckily, not beyond month seven. Except for the fine tuning of a dietary adjustment that I had to do. And I wouldn't have considered myself as, um, it's not within, let's say, where people would normally would associate extrasensory perception in the psychic realm. It's not perceiving the future, but it has to do with the change in perception of time and sp environmental space and things like that, distortions of distance you know where some people are nearsighted or farsighted it's kind of like that but kind of as if let's say you're one were to have been holding a uh not a microscope but a uh magnifying glass that wasn't in their hands where or but it was as if they were wearing like a helmet with a magnifying glass uh visor of sort and if, one, if they were to be looking through it but obviously they know that they're not wearing something like that and it, it changes or the the appearance of the distance of things where they may appear closer than they would actually be so that was let's say 20 years ago plus seven months inward uh, anyways Ah, oh, smells good in here. I'm making these, um, a chocolate cookie variety of that, and, uh, their cranberry oatmeal variety. So, cranberry oatmeal. It's good stuff. It smells amazing. Actually, you know what? It's like, it smells like I love it. That's the way, the word, um... The way I would describe it would be like, it sm smells like I would love it. You know, that that had to be inserted in the sentence. Anyways, it's the sugar that I smell in it. it smells like brown sugar. I'm making this, uh, my special coffee here. I forgot to stir it first, but that's okay. I did, I did it like this two days ago. I mean, uh, with the, with the turbinado cane sugar that I've been using, it, it, either whether or not I, regardless of whether or not I stir it ahead of time, even if when I tried stirring it the day after, um, I screwed up the first time around like this, where I would normally consider it being a screw up if I didn't stir it first before including the water. With the turbinado cane sugar, there's no difference whether or not I stir it first, but and it doesn't cause the same type of effect as, let's say, um, the raw vegan cane sugar that I was using. So. Now the stove is um, warm here, so I'm going to, I want to have a cold coffee. So I'm going to move this stuff over into the other room. Oh, 
my st stuff neatly in this box there. To take the cookies out soon. Even though I decided to sit down for a bit to do this. By the time I'm done stirring this, it'll probably be around around the time I would be taking out those cookies. I do better with the raw vegan cane sugar than when you're using the turbinado. I noticed that with like almost everything I use the turbinado for recently in comparison to the raw vegan cane sugar. It's just that it's a, I don't know how to describe it. I do better health wise. I do notice a difference. It, not only that, but uh, when it comes to with using the seltzer it tastes very watered down in comparison to like um more like it would taste normally like a soda when i use the raw vegan cane sugar but the turbinado tastes a bit more watered down I mean, you're not really supposed to use turbinado cane sugar for what I use it. What I've been, you know, substituting it in place of. Whereas, um, or even the raw vegan cane sugar necessarily. Usually people do that for, let's say, making, if they're to bake something, you know, um, that'd be vegan. Not too many raw foodists. Um, I mean, they can use the raw vegan cane sugar. Maybe raw, like I don't know why they would include raw vegan cane sugar in with, let's say, a um, something something that would be like a raw date a fruit and nut bar type thing. They uh, wouldn't need to because the dates already are sweet, you know. A raw foodist may be able to drink this, you know, with the turbinado, raw turbinado or the raw vegan cane sugar. And the, they may use that, those products to, because they're, they would be considered legal within the realm or the league of um, raw veganism. According to the rules of raw veganism, it's like ingredients that are not heated above a certain temperature. Or and also not processed with, let's say, animal products in the factory. For instance, most by default generic cane sugar is usually filtered or questionably filtered, implicitly, questionably, possibly filtered. And chances are with... Uh, bone char and that's why vegans they get the vegan cane sugar because it wasn't felt it was in uh purified or filtered or bleached through using bone char anyways yeah 
that's what they care about um 